Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing the Will I Buy It series. So this was started by the YouTuber named Samantha March. And this is where you just sit down and talk about makeup and you talk about new releases. So some of them are items that are already on the market, while some of these are soon to be on the market. And, and I just thought sitting here and talking to you guys about makeup is probably one of my favorite things ever. So before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. I mean, what's better in life than sitting here with your coffee and just talking about makeup? Come on. Okay, so I have my laptop open on the side here. So I'm gonna go ahead and peruse through my list of tabs here. So I'm gonna go ahead and also talk about some of the bloggers that I follow that always give me the best information. One of them is Mary Tushik on Instagram. I believe she's Russian because everything she writes is in the Cyrillic alphabet. So sometimes I have to hit Google Translate. Um, but she mentioned a new product here from Chanel that I had no idea was coming out. Apparently, Chanel is going to come out with a whole new eye collection, so a new volume mascara. It's supposed to be 3D printed, it's supposed to help stretch and volumize your lashes, accompanied by a series of colored felt tip liquid liners. I'm not sure if they're felt tip, that's a correction, but they're liquid liners, the ones you do the little cat eye with, and they seem to come in a variety of different colors. I'm seeing deep burgundy purple um that beautiful cobalt blue and there also appears to be a new eyebrow powder like you know the compact with the two colors for your eyebrows so out of this whole collection i would try the mascara i love the volume mascara it's my favorite it's the one that i reach for the most i would try this one out just the new one just to see how it fairs compared to new ones although i do have to say that usually when they come out with like a new version of the volume i still prefer the classic but i would definitely try this one as far as the liquid liners go i probably wouldn't i'm not a huge fan of liquid liners so i wouldn't really get that much use out of it and i'm not really an expert when it, i am not an expert when it comes to liquid liner so my review on that would be not excellent and the eyebrow powder i probably wouldn't get because i prefer just a pencil so speaking of chanel there are the camellia lipsticks which apparently have been available everywhere else in the world except for canada so i am impatiently waiting for these to be released here as well as the new lip liners so apparently these are only going to come out in march here so when those do become available here, I will be going in store and swatching and picking up a few just to see how they compare to the old ones. And I'm very excited. I don't know why they always stagger the releases. That is the reality of my situation. Okay, so a new item that I just saw online is from Giorgio Armani, and this is part of the Neo Nude collection. So from my understanding, the whole Neo Nude collection is your skin but better, no makeup, makeup look, and there is a new foundation going to be released soon. So I found the information in Russian. I hit Google Translate and let's see what it says. The Armani Neo Nude range is replenished with a new Neo Nude foundation water-based tonal fluid. Google Translate. The formula is enriched with hyaluronic acid for hydration and skincare, thin weightless coating. Okay, so we get that this is a fluid weightless foundation. It kind of reads like it's going to be a tinted moisturizer, which I love. I'm always on the hunt for a perfect tinted moisturizer, so I am quite intrigued by this product. I will definitely try it out. If I look very closely at the photo, it says Neo Nude True to Skin Natural Glow Foundation. So those are all the words that I love when it comes to skincare, or not skincare, but like a skin base. Second skin, nude, uh, glowing, those are the keywords that I look for. So I will be on the hunt for these when they are released in Canada. And especially in Montreal, I wanna be able to test it out before I buy it. Okay, moving on to some lip products. So apparently Hermes is going to come out with a lipstick line. Yes, Hermes of the Birkins, the Kellys, the luxury brand is coming out with lipsticks. So the photos that I've seen are very color blocking. The tubes look like they have like two or three different color and they're they're very 80s to me i don't know when i first saw the the photos online initially i was not wowed like something about the color blocking to me seems a bit dated i don't know it doesn't scream to me the packaging but i think this might be an item people are interested in seeing reviews of 
That being said, I have not seen any other information. I don't know if these are matte or if these are satin, if these are sheer, if they're tinted moisturizers like or tinted lip balms, I should say. I have no information. All I know is that they look like color blocked tubes. So yeah, I don't know what the price range will be. I don't know anything. So I'm still very much like on the fence. I'm keeping my eyes open to see if I get any other information about them, but I'm not sure about these ones, we'll see. Okay, next up is an item that I definitely do want to get. And this is from the Westman Atelier collection. They have a new lip product. This is called the Lip Suede, and it's a compact with four different shades. So you do need to use your finger or a lip brush to apply, but the colors look so beautiful and the entire packaging looks so stunning. And knowing myself, I would definitely mix and match these colors to just help create like a custom shade. These are not available yet in Canada, but I think they will be soon. The Holt Renfrew near me does not have a Westman Atelier counter, but I can order online with Holt Renfrew and get Westman Atelier, so I might do that. And as I speak, I see that the Lip Suede is available online at Holt Renfrew, so I will be doing some shopping as soon as this video ends. Okay, next up is a collection from Dior. So this is a new spring collection. I know they've had the spring collection, but this is not quite the spring collection. This is the Garden of Light collection. There appears to be a eyeshadow palette with five colors, a highlighting palette, and a whole new series of lip glosses. Right off the bat, none of this collection appeals to me. <laughs> it looks way too light. It looks like it's going to be pastel. It looks... I don't know. It looks fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It looks very pretty. It looks like there's a flower or petal detailing in the product, but it just doesn't call to me. It doesn't call my name. It's not something that I will probably buy at all. It's just, it looks fine. It looks cute, but I can spend my money on other things. And there's a whole new line of the Dior Lip Maximizers, which I like, but now that they've come out with the lip oils, I'm definitely more into the lip oils. They're more hydrating and nourishing, and so I probably won't pick up any of the new lip maximizers. I have so many already. I know that they like to come out with like different colors, sometimes they add more shimmer or you know what I mean, but how many of those can I own? And the lip oil, in my opinion, is better, so I will probably skip this entire collection. Okay, moving on to Natasha Denona. So she has a new Love collection, and there's an eyeshadow palette with 15 shades, and then a cheek palette with four colors. So the cheek palette looks like it's highlighter slash blush, and the cheek palette does look pretty. The packaging looks stunning to die for, girly, cutesy, beautiful, I love it so much. And the face palette or cheek palette, whatever you want to call it, does seem like an item I could actually use up. Oh, I made a mistake. These are not blush slash highlighters. They're really just all highlighters. You can just play with them. So they're a cream to powder. It looks beautiful and it looks fun just to play around with makeup like that. I'm not sure if I would ever actually use the entire thing up, but since it's only four colors, it seems more feasible. The eyeshadow palette, when I look at it, it looks beautiful. Like it looks aesthetically pleasing. Again, the packaging is nice. The colors that they picked out are very pretty. There are some dark colors, there are some light colors. It's more of the purple, pink, a little bit of red. It looks very beautiful. However, I am so intimidated by gigantic palettes like that because as you know, when I get a collection, I do this whole series with the collection and creating a bunch of different looks. So if I buy a palette like that, I will be doing videos on this palette for six months, you know? I think that I will be admiring this collection from afar. I think it looks beautiful, but I just don't think it's for me. Okay, so next up are these new lip glosses from Bobbi Brown. These are the crushed oil infused lip glosses. I'm not sure what crushed oil infused means. I think it's just a very hydrating lip gloss and these colors just look beautiful. They definitely have a lot of the nudie, your lips, but better, but they have them in warm toned, cool toned, a bit more peachy, a bit more corally. There are a lot of shades to choose from, and although I'm wearing just a regular lipstick today, I do love a glossy finish, a glossy lip, because it's cold, it's winter, I need the hydration, and they just look beautiful. 
I'm not sure which colors I would choose, probably in the nudie your lips but better category because gloss is fun, but whenever you get like a strand of hair pulling through, at least if it's a nude color, you can fix it a little bit better than if it's a bright red. So I haven't picked these up, but I know that these are available and they've been available for a few weeks now, so I might give those a try. Okay, and last but not least, I just saw that there is apparently a new tinted moisturizer by Sisley. I have not tried any makeup from Sisley, but I am very curious about the brand because it is so luxury and bougie. But I haven't yet tried any of their items, but I think a tinted moisturizer would be a great product because I've heard a lot of good things about their complexion items. So if this comes out, in the near future, I might pick this one up too. Okay, I think this about does it for my very first will I buy it. I hope I did it right. If you happen to enjoy content like this, I create a lot of luxury makeup tutorials and reviews, so please make sure to like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and that way you can join our community and be in the know whenever I post more content. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this video. Do you enjoy it? Do you want to see more of this on my channel? And let me know also which items you're thinking of buying, thinking of skipping, will you buy it? Let me know. Okay, so before I go, I'm thinking of doing something different for the next video as well. I want to do a makeup tutorial where you pick the makeup. I think this is easiest to do over on Instagram. So as always, there's a link to my Instagram down below, but I'll put it up higher. So after you finish watching the video, go on Instagram, go on my stories and vote for which foundation, which eyeshadow, which primer, etc. And then on Wednesday, I will create a makeup look using all the items that you voted on. I hope you guys all have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.